Let's get after them. All right. Going to make a quick stop this morning. We got a lot to do. But, uh, I mean, these smallmouth, I just can't get enough of them. See if we can't make something happen here. It is um, about quarter of seven. I'm a little bit later coming in than I normally am, which eh, is what it is. There's a fish. First cast. Mm, got a little bit of shoulder on it. It's a smallie. Imagine that. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Had another one with it. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, about a pound. We'll take that. Perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth. And my silly self left my... Dang, oh, you're a fat one too. Stop, stop. I need to be able to get this out because I left my daggone pliers right in the um, console of the Jeep this morning. All right, we safely got that hook out. A little chunk, a little fat chunk. Look at the belly on this thing. Goodness gracious. All right, well, thanks for coming. Wrong way, wrong way, little guy. There you go. <laughs> he was a little confused, but we're good. He's fine. All right, that was the first cast of the morning. Nice little chunk, just over a pound. Nice and fat, though. Good smalling. For the river, I'll take them all day long. That came on a FX Robo Worm Sculpin. Those things are money out here because this river is full of sculpin. And the fish that uh, fish that I got in on that first cast, well, I'll tell you what, he had one that was bigger with him. Let's see if we can't connect on... back-to-back <laughs> -back cast there we go nice I saw him come up and get it saw him come and get it nice little fish nice little chunker oh pulled me off no 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 well that's a quick release That's cloudy. That darker profile might be it. Now I've got this little watermelon seed zoom on now. Four inch. But I might want to change back to that sculpin because that got me back to back two in a row. Although I'm about to get bit again. Well, there's cast number three. Be great if you were the same fish. You're not. Look at that hook set, folks, right in the corner of the mouth, right where it's supposed to be. And I'll tell you, these uh, these little gamagatsu finesse hooks, they'll keep that fish pinned, and that's what you want. Nice little fella. Let's get him loose. Just a little little puppy. That's all right. We'll take you. Have a good one. All right. Let's see if we can make this four in a row, y'all. Oh, just a little skipper. Just a squeaker. Okay. We'll take number four. Number four through the worm. Not mad at you. Not mad at you at all. Uh-uh. 
Ow. Yep, that's why little fish are worse than big fish. Not too bad. Didn't get the hook in that deep, but it does happen. Take the good with the bad. Kind of playing around out in this current. The way this backwater swirls kind of pushes the worm out and then back out. So it's kind of spinning around out here, which is fine. It's a pretty natural presentation. That's better. Uh, little fighter. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. Man, these are just stacked up out here this morning. Goodness gracious. Okay, come on. Oh, this is a little large mouth here. Decent one. Pretty decent. Uh-uh. There we go. Let's get a look at you. Five casts in a row, folks. Five casts in a row. That's a pretty decent one. Real pretty fish. I'd say it's just over a pound, maybe. Maybe pushing a pound and a half. It's, it's pretty fat. Look at that belly on them. Man, they're eating good out here. There we go. Off he goes. See you, little guy. Thanks for coming. You can just see I'm moving around out there. We've got 100% cloud cover this morning. We've got a little bit of pressure change going on. Um, I, I ran through just a couple of seconds of rain on the way up here. Now, luckily, I've got my full waterproof case for this GoPro if I absolutely need to use it. But I prefer not to because it sounds like I'm talking through one of those old tin cans. Remember the tin can phones, y'all? How many people, if, if you can remember, you've gotten to the point in the video where we're talking about tin can phones, especially if y'all are country, how many of you remember tin can phones with a string attached? You talk into one end and the communication travels down the line. I grew up doing it. Of course, I grew up across the street from Cows on a dirt road. Mr. Perkins Cows. Well, shoot, can't connect every single time, but you know what, we're going to get right back out there because I know they're feeding. We're going to keep this thing rolling. See if I can't entertain y'all. Now, I got bit right there on that drop, but it let go. I could feel it. And I've got fish starting to bust all over, so... I do have a little 1.5 Jekyll bait square bill with me. See if we can't get something done on that if they start busting. That's all kinds of fun. We were out here last week with Kelly. Watched them. There we go. Had to get a little bit harder of a hook set on that. This feels like a small mouth certainly not pulling like a large mouth man their heads just shake and shake and shake and shake yep another small mouth can't say we'll complain about that that's another decent size one that's over a pound we'll take you guys all day all day long uh -uh. calm down calm down calm down we'll get you out of this situation momentarily there we go another beautiful beautiful healthy Gosh, these fish are healthy. My goodness. Thank you very much. You have a lovely morning, Mr. Smallmouth. Mm, I tell you, nothing beats it. Until you have one, you just don't know. You think you know, but you don't. I've had a lot of thermoses and uh, travel mugs over the years and there is absolutely nothing on the planet that keeps it colder longer or hotter longer than the yetis that's just a tumbler but last week it was you know that felt like 110 111 degrees out here and i left the tumbler 
full of ice water in the Jeep and I've got a dark blue Jeep and uh, several hours later coming out of this particular spot here that ice hadn't moved it was still super super cold and uh, you, you can keep ice in a in, in normal temperatures you can keep ice in there for days it's no joke they're really that good prices come down a good bit too there we go oh that's a good one that's a good one I'll tell you I'm just talking about giving plugs that you know they don't pay me to say that but it really is a good product and when you get something that's a good product over a period of time it's okay to brag on it now what in the world do I have attached here I don't want to horse it too bad this is a nice fish though that's a real nice fish that's probably the best of the morning so far I'd say fights like it's 12 pounds but it's probably in reality about a pound and a half maybe pushing two on this one perfect hook set yeah that's that's a nice little chunk right there if you don't that's cool but hey everybody CJ's here what's up, <laughs> what's up bro yeah watch out buddy I got it. this has been the week of hooking hands for me well, you got it, though, didn't you? yeah I know how you doing I'm awake and alive, so well, that's I don't good. Guess I can complain too much. Not bad. He is I'm telling you, man, they're eating like little piggies out here. Take it back from you. Wow, I tell you, that's worth that's worth a photograph. That's probably pushing two. Uh, you know, it's out here. He's pushing two on this one. So, CJ's cast maybe twice. Got himself a little large mouth. That's not bad. Not bad for a river fish. Not bad at all. We'll take those all day long. Hey, I see you got that on Jekyll Bait. Oh, Hang on. Don't get it out of the mouth yet. <laughs> Let's get a picture of that one. Nice. If you could anchor a, a kayak out there with it, that'd be money right there. Stuck in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And were you talking, um, in, when you messaged last night, you were talking back here by this bridge, walking back? I have, but right after it flooded, so it was all blown out garbage. Well, oh, there's a big concrete barrier, probably like 10 foot by 15 Yeah. laying right in the middle of it, that you can just get that on top. Squeaker. A large now? Ah, uh, yeah. Little tiny we'll call this a basslet <laughs> there it is let me reel up see what you got all right we got this on a hot tuna on a jekyll bait hot tuna that is not a bad fish at all my friend that's a decent smallmouth. good lord Outstanding. Get this out right away. That's the same fish you just threw back. It is. That's a nice fish. Took it on that hot tuna. No That's kidding. The exact same fish you just threw back. Because I you know, his mouth right there. And, and there's a myth about Fisher. Hang on a second before you get that out. Right on. Nice. Is it decent? Got a really big hook in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. You got a three aught, four aught? Uh, I'm gonna say four or five. Five aught, yeah. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. On the fluke. Yeah. Not what you were looking for, but not bad. Yeah, it's a five aught. Yeah. On that white fluke. Yeah. Good well, stuff. I changed it up. I was just jerking it across trying to get a reaction. Yeah. I let it sink. Yeah. I jerked it up off the bottom and he smacked it. Smacked it. Nice. Pretty fish. They are gorgeous. Real pretty. See you, buddy. Thanks for coming. There we go. Whoa. That's, well, it's out in the current, so it's hard to tell how big it is. But it's taking a little bit of drag out. It's bending me. But this is a, this finesse setup is so light that, I mean, it could be a quarter pounder and it, not quite like this. It's a decent fish. Not bad not a hundred percent good but not bad we'll take it 
Yeah. Oh, anytime you get a, a little break in this Arkansas heat. Right in the top of the mouth, got it going down. Now look, he spit out a sculpin. Did he? Yep, look right there. Well folks, we've lost CJ to the carp. He fishing. Oh, he's right at. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm like I, I was reeling and reeling and reeling, and then all of a sudden, um, I didn't feel my bait anymore, and he was coming right at me. So, ah, don't you do it? That's all the way through. Mm -mm. Hey, CJ, I need you, buddy. Dang, bud. Nope, 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 nope. Just get the fish back in the water. Oh, yeah. He got me good. It's all the way through. It doesn't hurt right now because the endorphins are kicked in, but I'm done fishing. That's all the way through. Oh, we didn't poke that thing. He'll be all right. He ain't done it. Look what I caught. <laughs> Smart ass. Get me, uh, I got scissors. Get the, get the line off first. The only thing I don't have. Just get that off of there. Okay. And then we got to figure out a way to get. You just kind of have to poke it through. It's gonna suck, I know, but. Or it I, already happened to me last week. I can do it Bill Dance way, it's up to you. Well, if we can cut if we can cut it and poke it through, I'd prefer to do that. Well, I mean you're gonna have to poke it through and then I'm gonna have to cut the barb off and you're gonna have to pull it back through. Hmm. Well, folks, we have a conundrum. Because right now it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it's going to when you it's gonna it hurt when through. I pull it out. Yeah. So my question is: Should you shut the camera off first? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, it's uh. You've already got the hard part. Oh, the I know. The hard part's getting a second hole. Well, here's the thing: if I had needle nose pliers, which I have at my house, I wouldn't have any issues at all. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have it. So I'm telling you what I want to do and what I want it. Yeah, but do they have uh cutters? Yes. All right. Oh, okay. I see, see what, what, what I'm doing. Making it easy if I can do it. Just hold that. But I don't know if I have the strength in my left hand All to right, get that yeah. done. Are you ready? Yep. Don't. There we go. All right. Now, step one is good. You look more nervous than I do. It does. I mean, it doesn't hurt right like this, but it's going to and when I push it through. I'm going to have to push down on that so I can get a hold of the other side. <laughs> oh, why? 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 Well, you know what? This is justice, and I'll tell you why it's justice because all the fish that I've caught in my lifetime, all the lips that I've yeah. just freaking nailed. You gotta get it sometimes. You gotta get it. Well, this is the... I, I got it under my nail. I yeah, had to cut the nail away bad. last week. This, But this one's... Um, that this one's a weird... <laughs> You've been <laughs> over here preaching, preaching, preaching. I ain't gonna get one in my hand today, and then by God, there you go. Well, I was trying not to, and... Uh, well, I get 1.5. It's, it's justice. It's justice. Not yet. Let me push it out more. <laughs> Seriously. If I can get this barb, we're going to be in good shape. Let me do it. <laughs> Kids. Oh, 
it's a son of a gun. That's a big barb right there. That's a number six. And I tell you, they're just as effing sticky. Oh. Folks at home, folks at home, folks at home. I want to I wanna scream like Mike Iaconelli so bad right now. Y'all have no idea. Yeah, just, just f***ing yank it. On three. One, two, three. <sighs> Ow! Any kind of cleaner? Yeah. Uh, oddly enough, I brought hand sanitizer. You know, he always he always carries the uh, the wire cutters with him, and I'll tell you what, worked out real well this morning because if I hadn't had those, it would have been it would have been a hospital trip. Because there's no way I would have been able to get that out by myself, or I'd have driven home with it and got it all, you know, got it out at home. But we hooked him up with a, a real nice Jekyll bait, and he'll be getting a few more. Um, it was just he was invaluable today, and a uh, real good guy to fish with too. Just loves the sport, and we we did real well. I tell you, that was that might have been your send off fish right there, but we put we put plenty on shore today, um, and and minus the hook in the hand incident which you know you you fish enough years it's almost inevitable that it's going to happen at some point in your life oh missed that one um it's almost inevitable but i would not have been able to to get that hook out without him here today so cj from the bottom of my heart thank you buddy you are uh you're definitely a good dude my friend didn't need braid didn't need braid but I tell you, we uh, we put some good stuff in. The, the Jekyll bait bite was on fire too. Hot tuna pattern was killing it. Craw pattern was killing it. Those little Johns. I don't care whether it's a river or stained or clear or a lake. Those little Johns, the the Dinger blanks. Of course, the Spros are awesome. But the customs that I'm painting from Jekyll baits and the craws and the hot tunas and. You know, a few other patterns that we worked out this morning that we're not going to talk about. Ha, ha, ha. Um, we're real good. I had a couple of 1.5s on this morning. And uh, that little largemouth bass is fun, but it's those small fish that get you. Those small fish, buddy. I'll tell you. Those are the ones that you really got to watch out with putting the hooks in the hands because their head shake is just so quick. And their mouths aren't quite as big, so getting a decent grip on them not quite as easy but uh man and I, and that's something to to be said about that also while i'm on my little soapbox um folks if you're going to come fishing especially if you're by yourself keep a pair of needle nose pliers with you in your bag in your tackle box um and make sure they've got wire cutter in them now if that were a five aught or a bigger hook or if i were catfishing I wouldn't have been able to get that out most likely. But little trebles, even up to I would say like a, a one, two or a one or a one aught, you can get those out. There we go. This might be the send-off fish, folks. Got that train action in the background. This is definitely a smallmouth bite. You can feel that head shake. That's a good little fish there. We'll take it. Folks, I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. Thanks for playing along and coming with me on yet another adventure on the Spring River. This is a perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth on this little Zoom finesse worm. Just a perfect hook set right there. And uh, hopefully not too deep to where we can get this out fairly easy. And this is another reason. Carry hemostats with you, folks. Carry them. Because that could make the difference. Come on, little guy. Let's get this out of you. All right. Pretty little guy. These fish are tough. Beautiful color's good their weight's good there's not a blemish on them just a fine fine fish and mwah, give you a kiss 
get you back in the water. We'll see ya. The other way, buddy. There you go. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. We appreciate you hanging out with us here. Jekyll424. Happy casting.